so let's go down to the next technique. So we just covered the reframe, the Tim Ferriss. Let's talk about the third technique. I wrote down here noting what I would also call it mindfulness, right? I would develop some kind of mindfulness practice. There's some great apps out there. I use Headspace. Andy Pudicum does that. It's a great app. And there's a whole bunch out there. But I would try to initiate some kind of mindfulness practice. 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, 10 minutes a day, 5 minutes a day. What can you afford? It's totally worth it if you can control those emotions. And I think you'll start noticing that you can create some space or distance from your thoughts by doing this process. And here's one of the techniques he talks about is using this technique called noting. And all you're going to be doing is when you're just kind of meditating or you're just thinking about your thoughts, or even if you're in this panic state, right? Like you, you go down, you feel yourself going down that blackout, like, oh God, here I go. What he, what he says is just to say to yourself, note what is happening. Note the feelings you're feeling. Like, hey, um, God, uh, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm, I'm pretty amped up or I'm, 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 I'm pretty excited. I, I, I'm anxious, you know? And it sounds stupid, it sounds silly, but again, when you note your thoughts, when you actually put a name or label your thoughts, you're able to kind of create this perspective between your thoughts and who you are, right? There's some distance between them because when you're in that black hole, when you're going down that route, that never-ending drain of anxiety, hashtag panic attack, what happens is you you cannot you cannot see yourself out of that you believe the thoughts that you're thinking and you are one and they're not they're not they're totally different they're separate they're just thoughts they're things they don't even matter when you think about it feelings thoughts things who cares it doesn't matter they're passing things so can you create some distance around it by noting what they are labeling them hey i'm feeling anxious oh this is me i'm i'm i'm, I'm feeling anxious okay and sit with that and, and notice it and see if you can notice any change with that. A lot of people find using this technique known as noting pretty powerful. Maybe not. All right, let's go into the fourth technique. I love to get kind of geeky and sciencey on things. I don't like to just give you these woo-woo life coach, hey, psycho babble kind of techniques. I like to do it all, baby. So I like to deliver some of the psycho babble because it's true and the mental game is real. But I also like supplements. I like biohacking. It, the world is a diverse place and you should do everything. So let's talk about this, known as the COMT gene, the COMT gene maybe. And what this has been big recently, you've seen, heard a lot of biohackers talk about it, is are you a warrior or are you a warrior? Are you a warrior rah, or are you a warrior? Wah, 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 wah. So they've actually shown that there is a gene in all of us that can actually dictate how you will react under stress. So if you go and get a 23andMe genetics panel test and you look at your COMT gene, it'll tell you if you have a polymorphism or if you're just a regular guy. Yours truly, not a regular guy. I am a warrior. Wah, 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 wah. So what that means is that in certain tasks I can do very well at, they say I'm creative, I'm this, I'm that, but when it comes to stress management, I can tend to freak out. I can go down to that black hole. I don't do well under high stress environments is what that gene says. It's just I'm not built for that apparently. That kind of sucks. Uh, but there's things you can do about it. So there is a supplement called DIM, D-I-M. It's actually a great supplement. It does a lot of other great things other than just what I'm going to tell you is that it, it would help. It's going to help with this gene. It's going to help supplement your body. But it helps with estrogen dominance. It helps block some of that estrogen. We don't want that. Guys, if you have estrogen dominance, that's probably because you have man boobs. So DIM is a great supplement for that. And it helps with this COMT gene, so you won't be so much of a warrior. Uh, another great supplement out there is uh, a supplement by Natural Stacks. They make uh, several products called part of their brain food stack. They have a serotonin one, and serotonin is known for happiness. It's known for it, when you when you have a lot of serotonin, you you feel, it's a feel good hormone, right? So 
they make their own stuff. They're a great company. If you check them out, they're, uh, I don't get any kickback from them. I'm not affiliated with them at all. But they, get, they have um, an open source, open label, very transparent company. So their supplement I would recommend. It's called Natural Stacks. They're serotonin. Uh, they also make uh, another part of their brain. But I think they do like a GABA and some other stuff that might help with sleep. So you may want to check that out if you have this gene. And then another thing is just B vitamins. You know, B12 and folate. You want to get a good brand of a B12. You want to get the methyl folate version or you want to get a brand of the, the folate is folate, not folic acid. A lot of, um, there's this, there's a lot of science showing that we're inundated with folic acid and we, we don't, we don't need it. And it's not the active form of folate. So you're just pissing out and you're actually getting too much of folic acid. So make sure if you have a multivitamin or a B vitamin that you don't have something that says folic acid, it is doing more harm than good for you. There's great brands out there. Pure Encapsulations is a good brand. Bulletproof is a great brand. Now makes good supplements. Um, who else do I like? I think Life Extension is pretty good as well. So you want to have some kind of B vitamins to support your energy and your adrenals. And a lot of people have another gene, the MTHFR uh, gene, which is associated with methylation and how we detox things. And a lot of people have uh, polymorphisms or like a mutation with that as well. I, <laughs> yours truly has that as well. So I would be someone good to supplement with B12 and uh, folate. Uh, so that that's a couple supplements I would be considering about, especially based on your genes if you do suffer from the COMT gene. Now, and again, you can check that out from uh, 23andMe, I think Ancestry.com, several of these genetic places will uh, check out your genes and you can check them out. So uh, let's go down to number five, Rescue Remedy. Uh, this is some supplement I just came across. I got stung by a bee recently. Actually, I, <laughs> I, I stepped on a bee. I didn't even know that was possible until I did it and it hurt and I wanted to cry. And so I was recommended this stuff called Rescue Remedy. Here it is. All it is for my Instagram folks out there, what's up? Uh, Rescue Remedy, you can get this on Amazon, it's like 12 bucks. And all it is is a little flower essence, natural stress relief. It's a little homeopathic bottle and it has several different kind of flower essences in it. Read the Amazon reviews, I, I thought, okay, some flower essence, but everybody swears by it. And when I was in a, I was in a Facebook group of people who swore by it as well, said this is exactly what I use to calm my nervous system down and kind of relax me. And then they gave me some other techniques for dealing with the bee sting. I just started using this, just started testing it out. So far I like it, but I don't know the results. Like I said, go on Amazon and there's like 600 reviews. Everybody seems to like it. It's kind of one of those tested and true, uh, seems like one of those tested and true supplements that people use. And uh, my mother-in-law said it's good and she's quite smart. She's, she knows her stuff. So when it comes to homeopathy, anything like that, anything essential oils based, I go to her, she knows what she's talking about. Shout out to you, Eugenia. So last thing, now that we've covered the reframe, the Tim Ferriss, what would you do if this were easier? Mindfulness technique, noting your COMT gene, and then rescue remedy. The last thing I would consider is a journaling practice. Why? I don't want to journal. Buy something like the five minute journal. I don't like journaling either. It's boring. I agree. But they've shown studies after studies doing dealing with gratitude. That's what I work on in my journal and it's called the five minute journal because you don't really spend more than five minutes. Now, if you have anxiety and you're someone who's going down that path or the chronic anxiety, the chronic panic attack, journaling might be powerful for you and people and studies have shown that when people have a journaling practice basically all you're doing is they call it like free flow journaling you're just going to be writing down your thoughts at after the day at the at the end of the day or maybe after the panic attack and just describing what happened and i think this goes along with our number three the noting it causes you to just become more aware of your emotions we are not aware of our emotions at all right now. We're all on our phone, including myself. We, nobody's in touch with anybody. We're not connected at all. And we're not taught anything about mindfulness in school. We're educated to learn and that is it. Hey, how was your day? 
Good, great, go do your homework. No one's saying, how are you feeling? Nobody's talking about that. Nobody cares about our thoughts and this is why we have so many problems with our youth and people growing up. The list goes on. So getting in touch with your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions, you're not even thinking about it. That's not part of your mentality. So it's something that you wanna consider. I heard my three-year-old, he just got here. So this will be the last thing, journaling, writing down your thoughts, free flowing, getting in touch with your thoughts. These are some of the ideas you wanna consider when dealing with hyper uh, anxiety. So again, just the recap, the reframe, the Tim Ferriss, what would you do if this looked easy? Mindfulness noting technique, your COMT gene. Maybe you need some DIM, maybe you need some brain food from natural stacks, or maybe you need some B vitamins, B12 and folate specifically. I forget, I think folate's B5. Check it out. Uh, rescue remedy was my fifth suggestion, the flower essence, and then journaling is the last. I gotta go because I got a family, I got dinner to serve. Hit me up offline, I'll answer any questions. Email me, info at code, code3wellness, and uh, that's it, man. I'm out, in and out, live, we did this. Let's do it again.